Hey, we're doing another video, go. Except I can't start moving immediately because uh, I have to change windows. And also, EPSXE has two windows, so I have to do two clicks to open it, so it's even slower. And there's a... Oh. I think that might be controller delay. I don't know. Anyway, Ice Age, I guess. Uh, are we gonna meet, uh, Scrat the Squirrel? Haha. <laughs> it's a funny topical <laughs> reference, cause, except it's not topical whatsoever. Did you know there were 30 Ice Age movies? No, but there were five, which is still five too many. Yeah. No, that's the still first one was like okay. It wasn't great. It was fine. The only thing I know about it is that Ray Romano is the mammoth. I don't know who Ray Romano is outside of being the mammoth. Well, he's he's Raymond from Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh, okay. Somebody said uh, I, I was in a stream once where somebody mentioned that Josh Peck was in Ice Age, and I'm just like. Oh, yeah. Really? Who was he? And then someone just said Diego, and I'm like, the fuck? No, he wasn't. Doesn't sound anything like him. And, like, for a second, but the thing is, like, I heard that, and I'm just like, wait, what? No. But, like, I, I didn't, like, outright reject it. But, like, if you heard Diego's voice, you would know that it was not fucking Josh Pack. <laughs> like... I, I don't think I've actually seen the movie, so I don't know why I'm laughing so hard, but... But yeah, I mean, he, he Diego has like you know kind of a deep tough guy voice, so uh, it, it's not him. <laughs> like, so they were just trolling. Yes, I mean he I, he apparently voices a character in the sequels. Okay. But uh, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, you know. Can I just stand here and do this? Uh, probably. Oh, ask Why the hell? Okay, does the club just not fucking work on anything anymore? I guess. I need to get the club too. The double club. Uh... H. H. Oh, did Joel show you? There's a video of JonTron saying H. No, he didn't. Yeah, somebody uh, somebody approached him at a convention. And they're just like, hey, hey, John, t don't be alarmed, but I'm, I'm recording you right now. Um, I need you to make an H with your hands and then just say H. And he's like, oh, oh, oh uh, I mean, uh, sure, I can try, sure. And he, like, he does it, and then he just goes, H! <laughs> Good shit. I love that H is a meme. We, we will just agree, like, the, the internet yeah. has collectively agreed that H is the funniest letter. Followed, I don't know. Like, followed, I don't even know why it's funny. It's just... Followed with a, you know, a considerable second place is E, uh, and then just nothing yeah. else comes even remotely close. So anyway, there's Ray Romano. <laughs> Whoa. Um, what the hell do I want to do? I assume it's a similar thing to that dinosaur that I never solved. Uh, not really. I appreciate that if you switch uh gadgets while you're like charging the ammo then it doesn't consume the ammo unlike it's really inconsistent in zelda games whether or not it will use yeah. the ammo i think in oot it will fire the arrow if you change it doesn't uh. Uh, or maybe it's tp i can't remember uh can i deal with the mammoth right now because i'll yeah okay i will attempt to apply a problem solving skill is it just jump on its back get up on its back it is not. Okay. Um, I will dash hoop into it. This will end well. It did not end well. Oh, I gotta trick it into rampaging, maybe? You're overthinking it. Is it just hit it? Pretty much. <laughs> Except you're not hitting the mammoth, you're hitting the monkey. Oh. And it'll just fall off. I'm, uh, I mean, kinda. I will now share the most overshared piece of trivia of all time, which is that, uh, mammoths were around, like, Same after the pyramids were built. Yes, yeah, that's true. I it's mean, one of those things that always pops up in, like, you know, what's an interesting piece of trivia, and people are just like, oh, um, yeah, you know. Uh, uh did you know that the color green it? is actually fake? Oh, shut up. It's as fake as every other color. I mean, I said green. That was just straight wrong. 
I mean, it, like I'm like I said, it's as fake as any other color is. Yeah. Like, oh. I, I I do hate the oh fuchsia is actually just a misconception. It's like what the fuck. <laughs> like, here's the thing: is the information relating to that is valid and interesting. Why does it have to be presented as a ha? You didn't know that you're wrong about fuchsia being a color. Why does it have to be presented like that? Just say, hey, did you know that like there's a you know there's like this color spectrum, but actually because of the way that it ra you know it doesn't actually wrap around, it just goes to infrared and ultraviolet. So when we imagine you know uh, a connection between the colors there, that's not actually real. That's kind of interesting. You don't have to make it a ha ha. You're a fucking idiot because you didn't. Gotcha. Realize. Yeah. You've been fooled by big color industries. <laughs> I love big color. It'd be real nice if I could get over there to obtain. You can. It'd be real nice if I could get over there to obtain. Oh It'd be shit, real you nice died. If I could get oh, over actually, there you're dead. Obtain. What did he say? I don't know. I don't want to find out. No, no, get the health! Okay. <laughs> oh. I guess I'm going to have to hula hoop. You have received wind. There's the Uki on. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna probably use the cookie machine, huh? Yes. Jimmy eat the cookie. All right. Yeah. Nobody told you. Ice levels are pretty nice. Levels. Office spaces can be very good for the office. I think desert. Spaces. I think I prefer desert levels, but I like ice levels a lot. There. I am not a fantastic fan of either. Um, fantastic fan. I'm. Yeah, I'm okay. Oh I'm my god. Reloading. Sorry. I prefer ice levels over fire levels by far. I don't know if I generally like them. I don't know. They're just kind of fine. Desert levels I find kind of lame. Like, there are exceptions. There are some that are good despite being desert, but I would never consider it like a theming that I, I like. Uh, I guess I guess I like ruins, and if you if you give me like yeah, ice ruins or cool. desert ruins, I like those a lot. Ice ruins Damn. east. Dude. I never remember... Which is ice ruins east and which is west. The, ju the jump is really but... unresponsive. Yeah, it's bad. I don't know if that's like controller okay, bye. input delay or something. I'm trying to get <laughs> lucky. Yeah, I know. We're like locked in like a action movie pose. You know, where like the, the, the two samurai have like run past each other and they're both standing still and then one of them just like like a line appears and they like slice in half and that and then stinko man goes dot 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 <laughs> i think we should destroy the hazardous thing destroy all three energy balls this is one of those games where all of your jumps are like <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're clenching yeah I, I like that description. It's one of those games where all of your jumps are just hurt. You have to go all like a herp. Um, that's a slide, I think. Ah. I can tell because of some of the pixels and because I've seen a few slides in my day. All right. Um. Remember when I saw a slide and I called it a scoop? Yeah, vaguely. Where is there another monk? Uh, you have a radar. Oh, yeah. I have not really been using the slingshot, so I will... Tanjobi. That means birthday. Alright, then. We need to go get him on his birthday. Is there any other one here? I guess so. You'll get extra cakes if you catch it on that day. Really? Yes. Really? No. Mario must die. 
You found it. Like hell, I did. Oh, it's. I like... think there's actually two monkeys. The one that it was pointing to is not this way. Yeah, death. Hiya! Hiya! I didn't realize I was gonna do that. Well, now you did. Uh, point the radar to the right. I think Tanjobi's over that way. Like over this way? Uh, yeah, that way. Oh, he hello, Ethelant. Because I think you were actually standing right next to it at one point, but the camera was not pointing okay. the right way, so you didn't stay. I just, I, I've been, uh, I've been doing my best to not mention these things and just kind of let you find stuff. Uh, well, I was just up here. Yeah, I mean, you're standing on top of it. Oh. I need to, like, kill you and get my HP back, if you don't mind. I like the snowman with a bucket helmet. Not to be confused with the bucket boss, or the other bucket boss. Yes. Oh, it's just here. Okay. Receive. <coughs> Alright. That sure was a nice level. Prepare for more. Okay. Well, we are on the ice board, to be fair. God. And then, like, the second board is like jungle board. <laughs> You're good. I said it for her. Okay. Mm. What if Ellen DeGeneres was in this game? I'm more like Ellen DeGeneres. And then people are like... Because she's gay. Yeah, except I think people don't like her anymore because she like was bad to her employees or something. I don't okay. know, I don't keep up with this stuff. I've seen this. So anyway, is this the thing that makes me fly? Yep, this is the best item in the game. Cool. It's the tornado rod from A Link Between Stop. Worlds. Yeah, kinda. So let me explain something about this, because uh, I think the game tries to explain it here and just doesn't do a good job. Well, hang on, let me see yep. if I can figure it out. What was that about using the propeller to jump long distances? We well, can fly farther away by rotating it continuously in the air. While flying, guide yourself with the left stick. Practice using both sticks. Also, the propeller can be used while jumping. Jump with the R1 button and rotate the right stick. Try it. Okay. Okay, I mean, it had nothing to do with any of that. Oh, I see. So, yeah, you can use it in midair, or, like, you can use it after a double jump. Uh, the thing that is important to know about this is, uh, it has a maximum height, like, that it disregards whether or not you've jumped. So, like, if you double jump and then use it, you go the same height as if you just use it on the ground. So you should actually just use it on the ground and then save your jump for later? It doesn't really matter, but I think th the issue with it is, like, sometimes it's kind of inconsistent. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you try to use it in midair, you might not actually get the full height. So, yeah, if it's like, if you're going for distance, then, yeah, jump first and then use it. But if you're trying to get up high, just use it on the ground. It'll be fine. Um... Whoa, they skipped one. Yeah, I don't know why they did why that that would that they they able the big but then the So uh, I believe now that you have the Sky Flyer you can actually get almost everything in every level that you've gone through. Okay. There's like a monkey and a specter coin in Dexter's Island you can't reach. Uh, there was an uh, there was a monkey in like cryptic ruins that you were supposed to get with a later item, but you got anyway. Is that the uh, the UFO one? No, it was the one that was like crawling in and out of like little oh no gaps in a fence. This is not the kind of game where precision uh, jumping is gonna be very good. And I am not making this up. I could just go up here instead of doing this shit, but I want to do this shit. So let me shoot. 
Will you play a big game? This is not a Babby game. So, uh, if the if the two options are Babby game and shoot, uh, which does Splatoon count as? I'm assuming probably Babby game. Yeah, because there's no blood. Okay. Do you ever get red paint in that game, or do they avoid that? Uh, you can in Splatfest. I forgot to progress the save uh, slot before I save there. Hopefully this video doesn't get corrupted or anything. It's gonna get run over by the incredible bulk. The incredible... Har! I like the ones just kind of hanging out in their little cabin. Hey, I gotta look at the picture of Sakurai's cat. And then you'd get to do bottles puzzles. <laughs> yes. And then Mr. Go back. And then Mr. Pants jump scare. Ah. Wow, do you think I wouldn't be able to find it on my own just because I'm a woman? Well, I mean, yeah. Really? When you say it has a maximum height, it, that's relative to the thing you, you like the the highest platform you're on, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just like, it's like you know, X above whatever platform you use it from. Okay. If uh, you jump over a gap, I assume it uses like the height of the platform that you jumped from as the. Yeah, it's probably just when that. you leave the ground it sets the height. Oh! Yes. I thought Spike disappeared for a second there. Sorry, no, his name is Max now. Oh, okay. No, he's just Yugi. <laughs> you called him that. I gotta be unique. Otherwise, what's the point of watching this LP as compared to the old one? There's literally no reason otherwise. Unless I call him something different. Okay. I think that we should give the ponies forks. We should call this one Morgan because it's a girl. Yes. She looks like a dog. Bad. You're cool. You're the coolest one in the whole family. I'm gonna call you Mo. Gotta do it every time. It's yeah, I mean kinda. I don't know why, but this little section here reminds me of like a dead end in Jungle Japes in DK64 that just has like a banana fairy in it. I um speaking of Donkey Kong, I for some reason I was going through like Isaac mods to try to find good ones to add. Um, I added one for like an alternate soundtrack. I added one for uh, replacing Dogma's Phase 2's speech with the Eggman announcement. Um, <laughs> I, I saw someone mention that one, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, and then I also saw one that just replaces coins with Donkey Kong Country bananas. So I'm like, I gotta do this. <laughs> I mean, okay. Is there anything that makes the game good? I don't know. I don't. I don't think the game is bad. Uh, I mean, the extended item descriptions is like a must-have if you're unfamiliar with the 500 items in the. Oh shit. Yeah. Can you imagine if I died from that? That would have been sad. Try not to die to a bat. Try not to get beat up by Andy Dick. I still don't really know who Andy Dick is. I mean, mean, you fucker! Give me a shield if you're gonna throw Octoroks at me. I know that he uh, groped Pamela Anderson during her roast. I was uh, reading the Wikipedia article for Julian Assange earlier, as you do. Apparently, Pamela Anderson is like a personal friend of his and visit used to visit him regularly when he was not I, in jail. I don't know who that person is that you said. Oh, he's like the WikiLeaks guy. I thought that was Lemmy Winks. No. Are you thinking of Edward Snowden? Oh, no. No, it was Lemmy Winks' brother. 
uh, I mean, there, there was a South Park with Lemmy Winks and WikiLeaks, and they threw Cartman under a bus. It was pretty good. Anyway, um... And then Mr. Mackey, like, rocket-propelled himself down the hallway with diarrhea. He's like, it's real bad, okay? The only reason I found the Pamela Anderson thing, like, notable is because... I don't know very much about her whatsoever. I know that... Or at least... I know that at least the people who made Crash Bandicoot considered her, like, an airhead with, like... A, you know, the, basically a pretty face, but nothing inside or whatever. Because they said that, like, that was what they based Torn on. They were just like, let's just make a Bandicoot version of Pamela Anderson. She'll be real pretty and have nothing else going on. And that was like, oh, that'd be funny. And, All right. but, no, I mean, apparently she, like, is an activist for fucking, you know, like, whistleblowers not being punished. So, that's cool. Ooh. Okay, give me a cook. No! That was cool. I like how in uh, Crash 4 they suddenly decided to give Tana a personality. And well, by it's which only I an mean, alternate version of Tana. They're just like, oh, you know, what's the only thing you can do with a female character is just make her, like, super capable. That'll that'll prove that that we're woke. I mean, I mean, it would be one thing if she was, like, I don't know. Pe people really hated the Tana in Crash 4. I didn't mind her so much, mostly because she was an alternate universe version. It's like, yeah, I mean, you know, if she was... This just like random, like dits, but then her only two like fellow mutant bandicoots died. She might get, you know, she might fucking kick her ass into gear and become a badass. I don't know. That's not out of the question. Um, if they if they did that to just regular Torna though, that would be a little mad. I'm I'm I think it's a good compromise that it's an alternate version of her. But yeah, I mean. I think I think you can have female characters be cool without just being generic badasses. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I can I can certainly understand your sentiment there. I'm just saying it's you, you know what I mean. How it's like you know you're like well we don't know what we want her to be like and we don't want to just go with like generic damsel so we'll just make her like you know better than every other character to prove that. I don't know, you know if she's better than every other character. She's she's more like on par with them now. Really? I'm sure. I'm sure there's a trope name for that. I just don't know what it is. Probably. Okay, come out so I can. No! I need the cookie. What if the cookie turned into a lemming? Nah, me winks. And then Disney threw it off a cliff. It would do that. Did I go up there? I don't think I did. I actually don't think you did, yeah. What? What? Wah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good thing he was really ridiculously slow to react. Dude, I pressed the fucking... Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Level 12 teen. Uh, uh, uh I pressed the wrong button anyway. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Dental, dental. I like the flying Canadians. Right, what's all this then? What do you mean? I don't know. It, it, the, the lighting on this was weird. I thought it was like illuminating an invisible platform or something. No, they are just trying to be cool. Yeah, boat! Oh boy. You get more of this shit. Yeah. And there's an underwater tunnel, so uh, you are not by any means required to use the boat. Oh hey, rockets. Hmm. Specifically rockets clipping through a wall. Yeah, so I'm pretty that. sure it was using that from behind that fence. Yeah, boat. Sorry. Giant jumbo jellyfish. I 
appreciate if I could see. Uh, seeing is optional. Apparently. Oh my god. Oh, you asshole. Well, so we wouldn't switch to the fucking... What do I do now? Uh, use slingshot on it and hope to not get killed with lasers. Mm. Can I get the cookie, please? I'm gonna no. lose health trying to get this cookie. Or just fall in the water. Yeah, probably. Okay. What's your opinion on Siphonophores? Uh, it's like a type of anemone or some shit, right? Uh, no, it's, it is a sea creature, though. It's the, I think, I think a Portuguese man of war is a type of siphonophore. It's those weird, like, fucking plastic bag creatures. That, oh, I like Like, those. form giant chains. <clears throat> well done! Well done! The, uh, the thing that we were talking about in that Galaxy 2 video where, uh, Martin said, like, oh yeah, somebody posted about that and they said it was something. <laughs> that was, <laughs> okay. was a Siphonophore. I see. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're at, like, 26 minutes. I want to keep going a little longer. Okay, um, yeah, I can do the other snow level. And then probably get thrust into another race against, uh... Yeah, we can do that. Jeff Peterson. <laughs> I forget what his name in this is, because I know it's not Jake. It's Buzz. Also, oh, yeah. I'm disappointed we didn't make a Buzz Aldrin joke. Not because it would be funny on its own, but specifically because of Joel referring to Darmani as Buzz Aldrin for some reason. Also, I gotta get Darvis, fucking nine yeah. in this level. Also, why is this just, um... What fucking song is this? It's the one that's like... Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 what song is that? I think it's Chrono Trigger. Uh, yes it is. Kind of sounds like that. Anything? Yeah, that's the the floating city. Uh, I just, don't just, think I would have made the connection myself, but maybe a little not, bit. Not the melody. The backing sounds like the backing from that. Oh god, okay. This is an extremely rare opportunity for me to do this and not actually be joking about it. Uh, <laughs> that weird, like, specter emblem on the snowman, because of the shitty quality on CRT TVs, I legitimately thought it was teeth. <laughs> That's awesome. I bet there are monkeys down there. Yeah, there are secrets where monkeys don't live. Uh... What? Come on, I just wanted to get down, man. Why are there black holes in the snow? Uh, I think it's for those Qbert fuckers to pop out of. Or just steam, I guess. I don't know. Oh, what? Oh my God. Eh, there's a cookie machine right there. No. The monkeys in these, like, full body suits just remind me of Walter White. <laughs> oh shit, I just remembered. I had. I don't have it anymore because I didn't post it and I now overwrote it with a different, like, snip. But uh, mm. there was a post I saw last night, I think, on, like, something on the Pokemon subreddit where somebody started off by basically just bitching about like current gen pokemon for one reason or another and they like went off into this weird tangent and then said that like they hope that everybody at game freak like suffers for eternity in hell or some shit and like it got really fucking like off topic and <laughs> weird and dark and then somebody just responded jesse what the hell are you talking about <laughs> Oh good, he's immune. Oh never mind, no, he's not immune. That was good. I like that. Yeah. Is this a mini boss or is this just a hazard? I have to. Manipulate? Uh, it's a hazard because you uh, actually cannot kill it. It's just like in Banjo, but with the bull. Bongo. <laughs> yes. Still need to Did start we up playing Bongo. That. Uh, I mean, I can't remember his name. I want to say it's Finn something. It's just some guy that makes like YouTube shorts. Um that just did a series of like when the characters go to a foreign 
uh, country in a Hollywood film. It's just like all the generic like adventure movie tropes. Um, and the, the best part was the that always made me laugh and was I think the only part you laughed at was just when they get th there's one part where they're going down the river and they just meet like a lively monkey fellow that they bring along with them. Little monkey fellow. And the guy's like, oh, you're a lively little guy. I'm going to name you Bongo. And then he has, like, subtitles. He's like, actually, my name is Arnoud or something. But then later on, they're, like, in jail because the, um, not jail, but in, like, a, you know, private, uh, they're, they're being held captive by the villain is what I'm trying to say. And the, the monkey, like, sneaks in and, like, steals the keys from the god that's, like, snoozing comically loudly. Um, yeah, yeah, with like the giant fucking ring that the keys are on. Yeah, <laughs> and like the monkey sneaks in, they go bongo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm like that's perfect. That's that's exactly how it goes. But what about Flim Flam? I uh, I did not know about Flim Flam until last night when I had a uh, fifty minute Scooby Doo video on as background noise. Apparently, he was a background character. Not a background. He was a he was a boring. side character in like. One of the many, many spin-offs of that show, and I think it was one of the really old ones. It was around the same time as Scrappy. Unfortunately, Scrappy Doo was gunned down in the streets of Brazil, and uh. I mean, Scrappy was killed yeah. off. Like, I, I learned that. I, I learned that from this video. I did not hmm? know that. I I don't know why, but Scrappy dying is like a repeated meme. I've seen it in multiple places. Like, okay, so for anybody who has uh, not seen this video, I don't remember the guy's name who made it, but it's the one that says, uh, like, it's just, like, the best character in Scooby-Doo and why it's Fred. Um, I mean, he's, like, but, the only uh, character. I like this uh, monkey Shaggy, picking Shaggy ass. and Scooby are the same character. <laughs> yes, they really are. <laughs> that, 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 that was gone into in the video. It's just like, you know, depending on the writers, sometimes they really are just the same character, and I fucking hate it when that happens. But anyway, um, the thing with Scrappy was, uh, in the first live-action movie, the person who wrote that one just really fucking hated Scrappy, and so they wanted to make him, like, an extremely unlikable character in the movie and make him the villain. Uh, specifically to have other people hate him so much that they would never bring him back in any future spinoffs. And it actually worked, so he basically killed off the character. That's hilarious. Like, I don't think anybody ever liked Scrappy in the first place, but the fact that they managed to just write him out of the series like that was kind of amazing. <laughs> because there are polar bears in this level. Actually, I sorry, sorry. Uh... I um, I gotta apologize, because someone's gonna call me out if I don't. I, I gave Velma some massive disrespect by saying that Fred was the only character. Shaggy and Scooby are not really characters. They go, zoinks, and they run away from shit. Daphne is just like... And they eat a bunch of shit. And... Yeah. And, and, then, and then Daphne doesn't <laughs> do anything. Daphne doesn't do anything. Velma does actually do stuff. <laughs> I can't, I can't... The Vel Apparently, in, like, one of the new shows, she has a girlfriend named oh. Hot Dog Water. Hot Dog Water, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I heard about this. And this isn't even, like... If I Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think this is, like, a 2010s thing where there's lesbians in every show. I think this is from, like, 2005. I don't actually know. Like, 2011. Which I guess is 2010s, but you know what I mean. Hot dog water. Yeah. Is I, there I, an explanation for this? No, I don't I just, think one I was just, given I in just, the video that I, I just, watched. The, I found out about this because I was recommended a clip that was like Velma and hot dog water, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what do they mean hot dog water? I watched the video and it did not provide an answer to my question, but I had forgotten about it by the time I watched the video. And I went to the comments and everyone's like, oh yeah, Velma and hot dog water's relationship is sweet. And oh, it's interesting, these two characters. And I'm like, oh, that's her name? <laughs> <laughs> That, that's this chick's name? Hot dog water? Okay. God. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know if this is the same show with hot dog water, because I don't know all the different Scooby variants, but uh, apparently there's one where Shaggy and Velma were dating, and then, like, she basically 
is kind of getting tired of his shit because he's kind of a fuck up and yeah. at one point uh she basically makes an ultimatum like you know you either like stay with me or you get to keep scooby but you can't have both and he's like well i'm picking scooby and she gets like super offended by this and everyone in the comments is just like no no good call if you're dating with somebody and they make you choose between them and your pet then fucking get rid of them <laughs> like <laughs> Ooh, you have to like. This huh? this bridge fucking sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Okay. And I I like that because I'm uh, trans. I don't have I don't have to qualify my statement about like modern shows having like lesbians all the time because. Because if I, if I was, you know, just like a, a straight cis woman, people would be like, What do you mean? Are you saying uh, it's there's bad? Wrong with uh, you can't... <laughs> yeah, it's like... It's like, pe people might give me a bit more of a benefit of the doubt. That, if you're still thinking I that, actually, I, I, I will admit, I, I'm going to give myself shit here and admit, uh, when, uh, when we were watching Joel go through Psychonauts 2, and I'm uh -huh. just like, oh, they sure shoehorned a gay relationship into this. And I'm like... I stopped and I thought about it. I'm like, no, no, it, there's, I don't think they did it to like be inclusive. There's nothing wrong with just including it anyway. Yeah. Um, it, I, it just depends on how it's written. In my case, it's like, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I feel like there's very specific things you can do to fuck it up. But other than that, just like, it's just like any other character relationship, really. The, the, the yeah. only reason I brought it up in the first place is I'm just like, I don't believe everyone's doing it with the intention that it's like it's part of their artistic vision to include a character like this. Whereas it, it might have used to be. If if you saw a movie in the '90s of the gay character, that's because the director or the writer or whatever was like, "I have something to say here," or at least th right. this this is the uh, character I am. Save say it here. I will. Uh, just in case this doesn't work, but uh, instead of running across this bridge, you should be able to kind of jump into the water and then jump out the other side. I think okay. it's easier. Um, but uh. Just use the flyer to give yourself more distance. Oh boy, <laughs> that's fine. Um, but um. Oh, they renamed it to the propeller. Okay. Well. Apparently, um, what I was trying to say. No, I forgot. Thanks, thanks a lot, Josh. Go pull. Yes. Oh. That's why we see it. That's yes. why you always check to see if they're loaded. Ish. Um, man, I'm losing my train of thought here. Do you hate sauerkraut? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, just try to jump as deep into it as you can. Oh! Good. Where is this gonna you're gonna love doing that again. I mean... Oh. Okay, fine. I didn't know you save stated again after. Yeah! Okay. Did I, did I give shit advice? Yeah, shit advice, yeah. Um, I might have been able to make that. You might be full of shit, though. What the fuck was I talking about? Lesbians. Uh, uh yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Part of me is, like, I feel like in the, if you if you included a gay character in the 90s, it was, like, that was your vision for the character. And now, that might right. still be the case, but sometimes or I think it's it just... Or it could be a corporate decision. Sometimes it's just, like, this will appeal to people, and that's, that's cynical yeah. as well. You know, and it would be the same thing no matter what kind of pandering it was. It's basically the same thing as like Gen One pandering. It's we're including this because we want to, you know, cheaply get people's appreciation without. Yeah, and and just and just to be completely fair about it, there are also instances of like movies or TV shows that absolutely don't have to have a relationship at, at all. all. Yeah. yeah, But then exactly. they add one in because it's like, oh, women like this. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's But really the point is I am still a homophobe, so shut up. But yeah, it's really it's really nothing to do with the specifics. It's just it's just the cynicism of um, corporate media. Can I this this I is like gonna this be a long one. Bathhouse. Oh that's what this is? Yeah. Alright, is there a cookie machine somewhere around here? Oh never mind. No, there's a fucking Spectre coin! You'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> Club Shadow. You're good. You're good. 
Uh, well, I think we had some good banter in these. Yeah, right. Things. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's gonna be for next time. I've been <laughs> Buzz attack. This will be a fight just between you and me. Follow me. Oh my God, Buzz. All right. Why is your voice so bad? See you guys next time, I guess. Bye. Ah.